Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. This is episode 11 of Photoshop Quick Tips. Recently, I did a Lightroom Quick Tips video. I think it was episode 64 where I did a grunge portrait. And that portrait was of a woman and there was smoke coming out of her ears. And I mentioned that the smoke was added in Photoshop. And a lot of people asked me to show how to do that. So I'm going to show you real easy how to add smoke coming out of a person ear a person's ears we're going to use this image here of this young guy so i'm in lightroom i you guys know i always start out in lightroom even if i'm going to do some photoshop work so i want to send this over to photoshop i'm just going to right click on the image and i'm going to go down to edit in and edit in adobe photoshop and i'm going to edit a copy with lightroom adjustments just so i don't mess up my original file so it opens up into Photoshop now we need some smoke that comes you know that could be shooting out of his ears and another question I often get is about Adobe stock or what do I use for stock images and things like that and I do use Adobe stock and I like Adobe stock because it's integrated into Photoshop and it's integrated actually into a lot of different apps from Adobe so if you use Illustrator or InDesign you could you know buy a, an image from Adobe stock and share it across all those different um, applications so it's real easy to search you just go up here I'm using a Mac of course you go up here to the um, Adobe CC icon and it defaults to the stock tab and I want to search for some smoke so we're going to click go and that will open up in my browser and it will give me a bunch of an exam a bunch of examples of smoke and you can see there's all different kinds of smoke here so um just find something we like quickly i want something that is kind of jetting out in a way so you could click on one a lot of times what i'll do and there's other examples below it and i don't like this one because it's being cut out kind of I want something that's not being you know cut off so I don't like any of those examples um, here so we could go to the next page and just keep searching I probably should have did this ahead of time so you guys didn't have to endure this but there you could see you could go on and on there's all different kinds of smoke but I want something that could be shooting out of his ears still kind of cut off Maybe we could go next all different kinds of smoke all right let's for the sake of time let's just go with this one so what I typically do you could save it to your library or to your computer I like to save it to my library. That's kept at Adobe in the cloud, in your cloud space at Adobe when you have the Creative Cloud uh, subscription. And that way you could share it across all your different applications very easily. So I'm just going to click right here, License and Save to my library. And you'll see it's saved. And now it says over here that it's licensed. So what I could do now is I could go back to Photoshop and I'll go to libraries. Now I'm in the photography workspace. So I'm going to go to libraries and you can see it's downloading it. It's right there. So it, these are all the different images I've licensed over the last several months. So I could take this one. I could just double click on it and it will open it up in Photoshop. Now I need to get it over to our screaming man over here. So to do that, we're going to get the move tool, hit the V key on your keyboard for the move tool. And we're just going to click on it with the left mouse button, leave that button pressed in, drag it over to the tab with our screaming dude, and just drop it on him like that. Now you can see we got a lot of work to do here. We have to resize it and do things like that. So we're going to make it a bit smaller, but by hitting Command minus, uh, just shrinks everything down so we could see it. If you have a PC, that's Control minus. So what we need to do is now resize it. So we're going to transform it. Hit Command T. If you have a PC, it's Control T. Let's just hold the Shift key in. That will hold the proportions as we grab one of these corner handles and just shrink it down a little bit. Now I want to kind of spin it. So 
if you go outside of the boundaries here, you could see how the cursor turns into a 90 degree arrow thing like that. So we could kind of better spin it. And we'll move it over here like that. Something like that. And we're just going to click OK. We could resize it and spin it some more um, when we need to. Now, obviously, that looks horrible. So we need to blend it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to Blend Modes, and we're going to try Screen. And you can see that did a pretty good job. So we have this smoke coming out of his ears. So I want to kind of um, resize it a little more. So I'm going to hit uh, Command-T again, Control-T if you have a PC. And we're going to just move it around a little bit more. Now, you could see, um, well, that's OK. Let's say that's OK. We're going to click that checkbox up there. Now, you could see how it kind of got cut off here. So I want to fix that. I don't want it to look like it's cut out. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a layer mask. We're going to go to down here, make sure we're on that layer with the smoke. And we're going to get that layer mask right there. And it added a layer mask. So we're going to paint in black. Make sure you're clicked on the mask. And we're going to, going to get a brush. So get a B. Uh, hit the B key on the keyboard for the brush. That's the keyboard shortcut. And we want a brush that is pretty soft, I would say. And a little bigger. So I'm going to hit the right bracket key on my keyboard. And I'm just going to kind of manipulate that so it's not as edgy. You know what I mean? So, yeah, something that still I probably spent a little more time with this. But that doesn't look too bad right there. Now we have the smoke coming out of one of his ears. I'm going to hit Command-0. That'll make it fit to screen. You hit Control-0 if you have a PC. And we're just going to make sure that it's coming out of his ear and it's not coming out of his temple. So I'm going to make sure that we paint there. So we have this smoke now floating out of this ear. We want it to come out of this ear as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer by hitting Command-J. Now we have double the smoke. And now I want to move that over to the other side. So we get the Move tool, and we're just going to click anywhere on that smoke and just drag it over here. Now we have to flip it. So what we're going to do is we're going to free transform again by hitting Command-T. Control-T if you have a PC. We're just going to right-click inside of this box. And we're going to go down to Flip Horizontal. And now we got it coming out of that ear. And this one we could now resize a little bit, make it look not totally asymmetrical or symmetrical to the other side, as I should say. So we could just grab a handle and you could manipulate it a little bit. You could right-click inside this box and you could go to like a Skew or Distort. And if you want to try to, uh, you know, skew it a little bit or distort it in some way so it's not exactly like uh, that one. Just keep going. Go to Warp. And you could grab one of these handles in here and you could warp it around so it's a little different looking. if you want it to be different or a little different. And um, Command-T again, we're going to move that in a little closer like that. Maybe up a little bit like that. And um, still don't like that. I get real fussy, I'm sorry, about how I do things. I kind of want the smoke coming out of the same level I don't want smoke coming out of his upper part of the ear here and the lower part of the ear there. If that makes any sense. And we're just going to click uh, the checkbox. That's good enough for now, good enough for this demonstration. So that's it. That's really how you make smoke coming out of someone's ears. And that's how you use Adobe Stock. I thought I'd mention that. And if you're interested in the Adobe stock, I'll just have a link below. Again, I'm not an affiliate with Adobe, so I don't make any money off them or anything uh, by showing you Adobe stock. But if you're interested in that, uh, that's what I use for stock images. I get that question all the time. All right, that's it for this episode of Photoshop Quick Tips. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. Actually, before I leave, 
I, I usually sign off here and then people says, you didn't save it. How do you save it? Um, well, I should add is I just go up to Photoshop, quit Photoshop, and then it asks me to save it and I'll click save. And then it will save the image and it will open up in Lightroom because that's where I started. And there we are in Lightroom now. So sorry about that. Um, you know, not showing that all the time. That's it, really. I'll talk to you guys soon.